very good afternoon children today let me start the physics topic welcome you all today topic name is standing waves what is mean by standing waves in your textbook given your textbook that statement is when the wave hits the rigid boundary rigid boundary means it does not change the shape and the size so the when the wave hits the rigid boundary it bounces back bounces back to the original medium and can interfere with the original waves a pattern is formed which are known as standing waves or stationary waves once again repeat when the wave hits the rigid boundary bounces back to the original medium bounces back to the original medium and can interfere with the original waves a pattern is formed which are known as standing waves or stationary waves so this is the two mark definition children please note it down when uh, this uh, paragraph is very important two mark question when the wave hits the rigid rigid boundary it bounces back to the original medium and can interfere with the original waves a yeah, pattern is formed which are known as standing waves or stationary wave so consider that two harmonic progressive waves formed by string that have the same amplitude same amplitude means the maximum distance covered by the wave is nothing but amplitude same value uh, amplitude and the same velocity but move in opposite direction that means two waves same amplitude same velocity but moving in opposite direction this direction opposite direction then the displacement of the first wave incident wave is y1 is equal to a sin kx minus omega t already we derived this uh, equation in the previous uh, derivation so according to that derivation again we can use this formula u1 uh, y1 is equal to a sin kx minus omega t this wave move towards to right move towards to right hand side then another one wave is move towards to left hand side here left hand side so y2 is equal to a sin kx plus omega t move towards to right hand side minus omega t move towards to left hand side plus omega t now the resultant that means principle of superposition what is the formula of principle of superposition y is equal to y1 plus y2 now substituting these two value in this equation we get y is equal to y1 value is a sin kx minus omega t now i am going to explain this concept through the board so y is equal to Here, y is equal to a sin kx minus omega t. This is for y1 value. Again, y2 value is a plus a sin kx plus omega t. Kx plus omega t. Now the equation is here. This is the equation. Y of x comma t. That means. the waves moving along the x direction with respect to time taken so y of x comma t is equal to this formula is nothing but 2a sin cos a sorry 2a cos a sin b formula so this is the expansion of this formula so simplify this step through this formula we get y of x comma t is equal to 2a cos omega t sin kx so here the this represents stationary waves or standing waves which means that this wave does not move either forward or backward so one wave considered padina it either move in a forward or either move in a backward forward liye backward liye move aagathu forward and backward like bp poi poi vandirukka so which means that this wave does not move either forward or backward whereas progressive or traveling waves will moves forward or backward so progressive wave na traveling waves in move forward and backward stationary or standing waves na either move in a forward or backward but in the progressive wave formation traveling the progressive or traveling waves will move forward or backward 
So, further the displacement of the particle in equation can be written in more compact form. Y of x comma t in the step of the a dash cos omega t. A dash is represent 2a sin k x and n which is a dash. So, a dash cos omega t, a dash where a dash is is equal to 2a sin k x. So, implying that the particular element of the string executes simple harmonic motion in the 6th lesson in number path. 6th or 7th lesson, uh, sorry, 10th lesson, oscillation lessons, le, simple harmonic motion le, with amplitude equals to a dash. The maximum of this amplitude occurs the pos position for which? Maximum amplitude, maximum amplitude in the position le, le, or maximum amplitude. Sin kx is equal to 1. Kx value and the kx value in the position la maximum amplitude that experience one on pi by 2 that means 90 degree. Only get the new wave will be the wave will be maximum position. This is this is x axis is y axis la maximum position in the maximum position. You do my people on a perpendicular direction go so in the point in the solar this point is considered as a 90 degree that means pi by 2. So pi by 2 pi by 2 la maximum amplitude. Oro. Then 3 pi by 2 la uh, another one maximum amplitude. Then 5 pi by 2 la another one maximum amplitude, uh, which is equal to m pi. So similar the formula is m pi. M other one by 2, 3 by 2, 5 by 2 under the number put it there. So m takes half integer. So half of a number in here. Integration. So half integer or half integral values. This position, the position of maximum amplitude is known as anti node so or position is or wave two waves are there. in the maximum in the x axis in the maximum position in the maximum displacement of wave adha nam anti node anti node expressing wave number is term uh, terms of wavelength adhu dhaan namakku wavelength kudukudhu so we can represent the anti nodal position ep sir anti nodal position find out pannudhu xm is equal this is very very important formula anti nodal formula xm is equal to 2m plus 1 divided by 2 into lambda by 2 this is one formula to find the anti nodal position so where m is equal to 0 comma 1 comma 2 0 and substitute pannunga 1 and substitute pannunga 2 and substitute pannunga so what is the value 0 and substitute pannunga 2 into 0 0 1 by 2 into lambda by 2 lambda by 4 no? so here 0 and substitute pannunga 2 into 0 0 plus 1 1 by 2 terms of no? so 2 by 2 0 uh, m is equal to 0 on the null the remaining term is x naught is equal to none other number like lambda by 2 x naught is nothing but lambda by 2 then maybe the m value 1 and substitute for another 2 into 1 2 2 plus 1 3 3 by 2 into lambda by 2 na 3 by 4 that means 3 by 4 lambda x1 is equal to 3 by 4 lambda then m is equal to 2 ninga substitute for 2 2 are 4 plus 1 5 by 2 5 by 2 Lambda into lambda by 2 na 5 by 5 lambda divided by 4. So th these are all the point is the maximum amplitude. Maximum amplitude na anti-nodal position. Where the distance between two successive anti-nodes can be computed by two successive anti-nodes are the form line xm minus xm minus 1. So now xm formula already there you what is the formula of xm 2m plus 1 divided by 2 into lambda by 2 update substitute pannega minus xm minus 1 and so on and all in that till and upon minus 2m plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 into lambda by 2 is equal to in an hour 2m plus 1 divided by 2 lambda by 2 into the what to cancel i.e. remaining time is not going to be pending lambda by 2 because 2m plus 1 by 2 minus larga angur 2m plus 1 divided by 2 into lambda by 2 plus larga plus so minus cancel like so remaining term 1 into lambda by 2 is nothing but lambda by 2. So this is the distance between two successive anti node can be computed by and the formula. Na. Similarly, minimum of amplitude, minimum of amplitude na, or uh, uh, amplitude on the finish or point is the minimum displacement, minimum amplitude of the where and so on node. It is called node or wave will start dying or mudir. This is a minimum displacement. This minimum displacement point or position is called node. So similarly, the minimum of the amplitude A also occurs at some points in the space and these points can be determined by the settings. 
Here, this is the condition. In the condition, na sin kx is equal to zero. Kx value is. If under the, where are all work chances are there? Zero under position. Then zero starting position la minimum displacement. After maximum displacement. Then pi in medium mode. This pi by two. This is one pi by two. Na one eighty. One eighty na pi. After again three pi. Or wave will be moving in the angle. In the direction of moving. Na this this under two pi position. The next three pi. So. 0 pi 2 pi 3 pi position la da adu minimum displacement a irukum so that is a minimum displacement i am going to explain this uh, um, condition uh, through the diagram here this is the minimum maximum displacement here please note it down children here this is the maximum displacement this maximum displacement is known as anti node that is a maximum displacement here this point is minimum displacement here this is the point This is a minimum displacement is called node. Maximum displacement is called anti node. Minimum displacement is called a node. Here, this minimum displacement occurred from obtained from zero position. This is a minimum displacement. Then pi position is the minimum position. Then two pi position is minimum position. That is the minimum displacement of that is nothing but node. So here. Sin k s is also represented in this diagram. K s is equal to zero pi two pi three pi is equal to n pi. So these points is indicated the node position. That means minimum displacement position where n takes integer, integer or integral values. So note that the element at these points do not vibrate. So at particular point of node. Is not vibrate and the points are called nodes. So that point is called as a node. Node otherwise called as a minimum displacement. Node is otherwise called as the minimum displacement of the wave. So the nth nodal position, nodal position formula is x m is equal to n into lambda by two. So anti nodal formula is x m is equal to two m plus one divided by two into lambda by two. Here nodal form position formula is x n is equal to n into lambda by two, where n is equal to zero comma one comma two. When you sub substituting this n value in this equation, we get n is equal to zero. First position n x is x zero is equal to zero into anything zero, where n is equal to one. N in one into one lambda by two lambda by two, where n is equal to two two into lambda by two 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 cancel. Lambda, so x2 is equal to lambda. This is for minimum displacement of wave or nodal position. The distance between any two successive nodes can be calculated. X n minus x n minus one is equal to n into lambda by two minus n minus one into lambda by two. Here n minus one into lambda by two. Ulla multiply panna na ora n into minus n lambda by two minus Into minus plus side, no plus lambda by two. So n lambda by two, n lambda by two plus minus cancel side, no. So minus and minus plus one, one into lambda by two, lambda by two answer. No? So this is the condition for distance between any two successive nodes can be calculated as. So this is very very important formula for the two mark problem as well as the absurdity type problems. The next topic, very very important topic, two mark topic, characteristics of stationary waves. What are the characteristics in stationary waves? First point is stationary waves were characterized by con confinement of a wave disturbance between two rigid bonded. First one is two rigid bond bonded. So stationary wave need two rigid bonded is. This means wave does not move forward or backward. Second point is wave does not move forward and backward or backward in a medium. Does not at once. It remains steady at its place. This is the third point. Therefore, they are called stationary waves or standing wave. This is the first characteristic. Second characteristic says certain points in the region in which the wave exits have maximum amplitude, called as antinodes, and certain points. The amplitude is minimum or zero, called nodes. So there are two important points in the second characteristic. One is the anti-node, and another one is the nodes. So maximum amplitude is called anti-node. Minimum or zero amplitude is called nodes. Third characteristic is the distance between two consecutive nodes or anti-nodes is lambda by two. This is the third characteristic. 
fourth characteristic the distance between a node and its neighboring anti nodes is lambda by 4 the last characteristic fifth point is the transfer of energy along the standing wave is zero so this is very very important point so then transfer of energy along the standing wave is zero now this is a very important the two more topic comparison between progressive and stationary waves comparison between progressive and stationary waves first point of progressive wave is crust and the trough are formed in transverse progressive waves and the compression and the rarefaction are formed in longitudinal progressive wave so in transfer progressive wave transfer wave uh, progressive wave pattern la crust and the trough and the character create aagum crust and the trough crust and the trough ipdi ipdi pogum wave crust and the trough crust and the trough and pogum but in longitudinal progressive waves la compression and the rarefaction compression and the rarefaction pattern that is they will advance in a medium with definite velocity in stationary waves la crust and the trough are formed in transverse stationary waves and the compression and the rarefaction are formed in a longitudinal stationary wave these waves neither move forward nor backward so here these waves move forward or backward but here only forward na forward la move avanum illa na backward na backward la move these waves neither move forward nor backwards in a medium that is they will no, not advance in a medium then second point for the progressive wave is all the particles in the medium vibrate such that the amplitude of the vibration for all particle is same so ella particle node vibration or medium le epdi irukum same a irukum amplitude of the vibration for all particle is same but here stationary waves except at nodes all other particles of the medium vibrate such that amplitude of vibration is different for different particles so stationary waves la over particle la vibration different a irukum the amplitude is minimum is zero or zero at nodes and maximum at the anti node anti node la maximum vibration avo uh, nodes la minimum vibration avo the third point for the progressive wave these waves carry energy while propagating in the wave enna pannom energy carry panniittu povum propagation avumbodu the last points for the stationary wave these wave do not transport energy energy are transport panna that stationary wave the next topic is stationary wave in sonometer stationary wave in sonometer 